This peace deal signed in Doha in April was one of several glimmers of hope for Darfur in recent years that have since vanished. Mohamed Bashar, leader of the Justice and Equality Movement rebel group, signed the agreement with the Sudanese government. But since then, Bashar has broken away from Jem, taking a splinter group with him. The details are sketchy, but the main body of Jem rebels appear to have been angry with Bashar for cooperating with the Sudanese government. Bashar and his convoy were attacked inside Chad, just a few kilometres from the border with Sudan's Darfur region. Bashar and his men were apparently having lunch when around 30 vehicles with Jem fighters ambushed them. The attack is yet another factor that could destabilise Sudan. It has a fragile peace agreement with its oil-producing neighbour, South Sudan. In earlier agreements, the Sudanese government and Jem have agreed to share power and establish a governing authority in Darfur. But feuding tribes pose a major threat to the region. The hundreds of thousands of refugees who've fled the violence in recent years say they can go back only when peace has been firmly established. That now appears to be an even more remote possibility. Azhar Sukri, Al Jazeera.